For last week's Comic Book Tuesday, we read Dinosaurs in Space. And now, today we're reading Part 2, Dinosaurs in Space, Back to Earth, written by Pranus T. Norjakaitis. Let's go! Captain's Log We are in the middle of a routine mission to a distant part of space. I am so bored. There's nothing boring about exploration, Tyrone. Also, you're not the captain. Oh please, I'm totally the captain. And as the captain, I want to do something exciting. Boom! Uh-oh. What was that? I think we got hit by an asteroid. Wahoo! Russ, weren't you on asteroid watching duty? Sorry dudes, I was playing video games. Uh, did we hit something? This is why I do not like flying. Everybody strap yourselves in. We've got to land on this planet to make repairs. Ah! Wahoo! Guess where they're landing? On planet Earth, our planet. Hey Joe, what are you looking at? For your information, I'm working on my stargazing badge. Aren't you supposed to be stargazing at night? My little brother is afraid of the dark. Nah, uh Oh my gosh, what? You see a UFO or something? Yeah, I do. Cough. Did a spaceship just land in your backyard? Some kids have all the luck. Hey, can you aliens tell us what planet we crash landed on? Eee, little aliens, how cute. Quiet, you. Isn't that funny? The dinosaurs think we're the aliens and we think they're the aliens. Uh, you're on Earth. I don't believe it. Our great 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 grandparents came from Earth. Dinosaurs weren't wiped out by an asteroid, but instead blasted off into space? Um, yes, actually. Ha, I knew it. Joe, you owe me a dollar. Wow, real life dinosaurs. It's the scientific find of the century. You aren't afraid of us? I mean, you're so tiny. No way, we love dinosaurs. Ooh, I think I like little aliens. Hey, we're kids. Oh, my mistake, alien kids. Howdy, I'm Tyrone. Uh, I'm Bruno. I'm Joe. Yo, name's Russ. Pleased to meet you, I'm Terry. I'm Gwen. They call me Benji. They call me Tracy. Um, I hate to end this happy little party. Oh, here comes Stuart the buzzkill. But our ship is destroyed. If we can't fix it, we'll never get back home. Hey, we could help you fix your ship. Yeah, piece of cake. Ooh, cake. Yummy. Okay, so in order to fix our ship, we need three things. A communicator, energy, and an engine. All right, dudes, let's go out and grab those parts. Hey, watch where you're going. Huh? The d dino Dinosaurs! Ah! Was it something I said? It's just adults on this planet get scared by things like giant dinosaurs. Not us kids though. Hmm. Let's split up into smaller groups and stay hidden. Hey, I'm good at hiding. Bruno, we can all see you. Darn. Okay, so let's go fix up a spaceship. Ready team? Yeah! Yeah, wait, what are we doing? Groan. Okay, Bruno, Terry and Benji, you're the first team. We are going to need a brand new communicator. Huh? Hey, that looks like an old antenna. Oh my, you have TV on this planet. My favorite show is Dino Mites. But no one uses them anymore, so they are pretty hard to find. Oh dear, gotta find an old TV antenna. There's one all the way at the very top of this building. Hey Terry, just fly up and grab it. I... I can't. Sure you can, just flap your wings and fly. But I... I... I'm afraid of flying and of height too. Sob. Oh, don't worry buddy, everyone is afraid of something. I'm afraid of spiders. I'm afraid of toasters. I know what we'll do, we'll help you get over your fear. 
Okay, just hop and fly a little. Oh, I don't know. Flap, flap, flap. Did I die? No, you did great. Munch, munch, munch. Terry, you can do this. Oh dear. Ah, flap, flap, flap. Yay, go Terry. I, I did it. I actually flew. And now the final test. Go. You got this. Here I go. I'm falling. Don't worry, we'll save you. Hold on. Whoa, good catch, Bruno. Oof, smack. Hey, there's an antenna. I'll get it. Oh, oh my. I can see my house from here. I did it. I'm so high up and it's not so horrible. Now let's get this antenna back to the ship. Okay. Woohoo. Whoa there, belly. When was the last time we ate? Grumble. Choo choo choo. Yuck, what is that? It's freeze-dried food sticks. It's the only food we take with us on space missions. Ooh, can we try some? You be sorry. Ah, so gross. pa uh, You guys can't eat this stuff. I know. These may not taste great, but they provide all of our daily vitamins. And donuts? Nom nom nom, chomp chomp, sniff sniff. Holy space cow, this is the best thing ever. I need more. No, stop. Our parents will see you. Next thing we need is fuel. Russ, Tracy and Gwen, it's your turn. Has your species discovered black hole energy yet? No. Light speed? Nope. Wormhole warp? Sorry. This makes things difficult. There's got to be something on Earth we can use. Don't worry, we'll find something. Be sure to stay hidden, you two. And I'm the best at this hiding thing. Easy for you, you're small. Uh-oh, a grown-up. Hey, hey, howdy. Uh-huh. Phew, close one. This thing was just the right size for me to hide behind. Hmm, this gives me an idea. Ta-da! Phew! Maybe gas will work. Like what happens after I eat? Ew! Haha, <laughs> no, gasoline. We put it in our cars to make them go. Bleh, it smells gross. What's in it? Mmm. Well, um, it's made out of oil, which is, well, um, made out of you guys. What? Oil is fossil fuel. It's made from really old plants and dinosaur bones that have been in the ground for a really, really long time. No way we're going to use old dino bones to fuel our ship. Yuck. Geez, your planet sure is bright. That's it. I think we've figured it out. Cheap calculators. See, they are powered by solar energy. If we put enough of these around the ship, hmm, this just might work. Let's hope it doesn't get cloudy. Whoa, pretty cool treehouse. Can I come in? I don't think you can. Sure, the more the merrier. Hey guys, party in the treehouse. Woohoo! Ooft, it's a tight fit. Hey, I'm just big boned. Your turn, Bruno. Hey, who has their tail in my face? Uh-oh. Oh great, now we have to repair a broken spaceship and a treehouse. Oops, sorry. This is going to be the toughest piece of all. Where can we find a spaceship engine? Hmm, this looks really familiar. Oh, I remember. I saw this in the newspaper last week. Mystery fossil found. Gasp, that's it? Where is it? At the museum. Huff, huff, so many steps. Hurry up before someone sees you. Security. Huh? I think I need new glasses. Whoa, a whole building dedicated to science? Pretty cool, right? Yawn. Boring. Let's see how boring science is when it helps us fly back home. Okay, 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 sorry. We're almost there. Dude, you've got to go see a dentist. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Ask away. Our latest research shows that most dinosaurs had feathers. Where are yours? Oh, that's easy. We do have feathers, but they get itchy, so we just shave them off. Fascinating. Here we are. Eek, gasp. Ooh, the dinosaur museum. It's, it's filled with our bones, our bones. 
Oh no, I didn't even think. Oh jeez, I'm so sorry. It's okay, it was just a shock. Now let's find that engine so we don't end up on display here too. Push button to see a real life T-Rex. Don't mind if I do. Whoa, ah, shh, but the huff puff in the wall roaring. Now where is that engine? Hmm, I think we found it. Yay! Wait, if we take this, are we stealing? Well, this used to belong to my great 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 grandparents, so I'm just taking it back. Hmm, this dude looks familiar. Hey, I remember, this guy owes me five bucks. Now how do we get it out of here without setting off the alarms? You do too owe me five bucks, bonehead. Come on, don't be cheap, pay up. Ah, ooh, crash. Um, wasn't me. Guess we don't need to worry about setting off the alarm now. The bone dude did it. Run! I am not cleaning this up. <laughs> Let's make sure we got everything done. TV antenna, check. Solar powered calculators, check. Fossilized engine, check. And don't forget the lunches the kids packed for us. Nom nom nom. It's time for us to blast off home now. Oh, we're really going to miss you. Yeah, you guys are so fun. Hey, maybe you can come with too. Ooh, I always wanted a pet. No way, little dude. You guys belong on Earth with your friends and family. Oh, but we want to make you honorary members of our crew. Oh wow, so cool. This is better than any stargazing badge. We'll stop by next time we're in this part of the galaxy. Fuels level charged, rockets ready, starting countdown to launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! Vroom! Next stop, home. Okay, who has the directions? Uh-oh, the end. These dinosaurs sure are goofy and funny. What do you think about this story? Let me know down below. Also, if you have any comic book ideas, let me know too, so maybe we can read it in the next week's comic book. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.